as you see the cardiac preset, we start with a narrow sector, but I always go and make it wide because I like, I like to see the baby, a bit more of gain. So moving down here, baby's head is down. As I move up, see nice face there again. So head is down. As I move up, the body is to the left. The spine is on the left. My spine, ribs. So trying to find a position where we can see the heart reasonably well. Not bad here. So then I narrow the sector. <coughs> this is all old technique, you should know that. A bit more pressure in the maternal abdomen. Make it bigger. Narrow it again. So again, this is, has virtually no post-processing on that. So as the image is there, you can see the information. And I'm just going to switch on this carving technique. It's almost the same position as I did before, isn't it? And you have different levels. So we start with off, and then low, medium, and high. I guess you can see the difference. The image is a bit cleaner. I'm just reducing the gain as well. Is it projecting well? Yeah. Not as good as the screen here, but uh, you can look at the one here if you want. So make it bigger. You see how you can see the movement very clearly. The pulmonary valve is almost the same as, it's almost as if I've used this baby to make my slides, isn't it? <laughs> same position, but it's not. See the right pulmonary artery there? So this is mainly to demonstrate the... So let's, let's pretend this baby's and I can't get any other view. We have the spine on top there. And I'm going to switch off the carving and then try and again increase. And you can see that. Too deep? Yeah, okay. strong. Different levels here. You still need to man manipulate the probe to try and get a good angle of insonation. So that's, that's quite different from that here. Yeah? You see the difference? So all equipments this day, they have a degree of a lot of post-processing, but you want to see to be able to see valves opening and closing well. You want to see the flap valve moving well. You want to see all the details. You don't want to take away like um, Photoshop, yeah? Take all the you know, beautiful pictures of people you see in the internet. They take away everything, but you take the details away as well. So let's put some... Um, Color here, conventional color. See, our velocity is coming at about um, 60 centimeters per second. I'm going to increase the gain a little bit. This is the conventional color. And again, I'm going to turn on the glossy power. It's quite nice. It looks like blood, doesn't it? Some of it is royal because it's blue. <laughs> That's why I tell the patients. So by, see, when I switch the color with a glossy one, I lost my scale, but it still works. If I decrease the velocity, you can see that I'm starting to see aliasing in the heart, and we're starting to see the pulmonary veins. I like to use a, a dual display. As you see very clearly, the pulmonary veins coming here, two of them from the right lung, one from the left lung, just manipulating the probe a little bit. Just going through the different, again, that's a normal power, non-directional and directional. Again, it's just nicer. You have to get used to it to some extent, uh, getting that glossy power. But you can see how the information is beautiful. You can accentuate the small vessels with the power. And then as we go up into the vessels, I increased my uh, PRF, you see the left ventricular outflow tract. The branch pulmonary artery is just starting to appear. The ductal arch. And a bit of the, the aortic arch. <coughs> 